Hello. Today we're going to be going through the 2011 um, past paper for the C3L6 Cambridge Chemistry Challenge. Um, this is a lot of organic and there's quite a lot of stuff to do, so let's just crack on with it. Um, as you can see, usually this is just the, um, the regular periodic table. But you've got to be careful because it has um, extra decimal places. So we've got to use that whenever um, whenever they ask us. So we get told, question one. This question is about molecules with the formula C3L6. By tradition, the symbol L is sometimes used in chemistry when looking at reactions which compare compounds with normal hydrogen, the isotope hydrogen 1, with those containing deuterium, the isotope hydrogen 2. For example, CF3OL would refer to either the compound with uh, hydrogen 1 or hydrogen 2. But for the remainder of this question, you could just assume that hydrogen refers exclusively to hydrogen 1. Um, and later in the question, D refers to hydrogen 2. So, this is question one. There are two compounds with the formula C3H6. Give the names and particular class of compound each belongs to. Now this is just a matter of knowing your isomers. So the first one is going to be cyclopropane. So it's propane because it has three carbons and this is a cycloalkane. But then there's also, so this would be one mark, this would be a second mark. The third mark would be saying propene is the other one. So this is just an alkene. Very simple. That should be fairly straightforward. So part two now. Like every other member in its class, one isomer of C3H6, isomer A reacts rapidly with bromine to form a single product. When A reacts with bromine, compound F is formed. So we're having we're making one product. So you should probably recognize we're gonna have to use one of the isomers we just thought of. Um, and so the two the two isomers were either a ring, so this was cyclopropane or propene and the one that's going to give us it says like every other member in this class so this doesn't react not all cycloalkanes react rapidly um, so we're, we're, we're gonna have to use this one so therefore we know that this um, is the structure of A And so when it reacts with bromine, this is a, it's called electrophilic addition. It's just you're adding bromine to it. So it's an addition reaction. So it will give you, you don't need to draw the mechanism. You literally just get um, this. And that is F. So that's your next mark. Perfect. Now, we, we keep going. The second isomer of H, C3H6, isomer B, has a number of unique properties. The other members in the same class of compounds only react with bromine. So other members in the same class only, only react with bromine in the presence of light. So this is, the, well, we can straight away draw the structure for B because B has to be the other one. It's this. It's like, uh, I can draw that a bit better be cyclopropane in the presence of light. So here we're forming two products. So HBr is a side product. Okay, so that's my bad. So the other compounds, the other members of the same class of compounds would form HBr as a side product. But here it's saying that it forms a single compound G 
and F and G isomers. That makes sense. So what you're going to have to realize is that all of these carb carbons in B are saturated already um, in the sense that there are no double bonds. Um, so we, the, the only way to make more single bonds is to split the ring somehow. So I'll, I'll show you that. If this is B, we're going to split the ring and we're just going to basically open up the ring and get an addition on each hand. So this is B and this is G. That's another two marks. So we're already eight marks in. And uh, that's, that's a pretty solid start. Now, this is where this is where the uh, the year 12s might find it a bit trickier, and especially if you're in year 11. Um, standard enthalpies of formation. So, let's just read the question first. The standard enthalpies of formation, this symbol, of both A and B have been found first, but have been found by first measuring the standard enthalpies of combustion of each. These values are given in the table below, uh, together with the standard enthalpies of combustion of carbon and hydrogen. So we get this data and we're going to have to calculate some things. So the first part is simple. Um, I will, I'll, I'll do that now. So if you wanted a shortcut for this, you could have that for any hydrocarbon, if you have a hydrocarbon CXHY, it's combusting. You can balance it algebraically. O2 goes to X lots of CO2 plus Y over two lots of H2O. So that's that's really handy for quick, um, especially in the multiple choice at A level. That is a quick shortcut. So if we use that here, we have it C3, C3H6, don't we? So it's going to be C3H6. Um, now we should really put state symbols. So this is going to be a gas plus, well, three plus six over four is nine over two. Uh, this is O2 gas. Goes to CO2. Let's just write it all out. Add H2O. Now this is going to be a gas. And we know that this will be a three and this will be a three. So that is that. Is that. Now, um, they don't penalize state symbols. Um, they do it, I think they pen might penalize once per the whole exam. Um, but most years they tend to be lenient with that. So that would get you a mark, um, one mark. But now for the for the enthalpy, we're going to have to do a little bit of theory. Enthalpy change. Enthalpy change is a heat, the change in heat energy. So it's the heat at a constant temperature. So it's given this symbol, which is why it, it probably makes a bit more sense um, in the previous question. And you've got to be careful because they're talking about standard enthalpies, not just enthalpy changes. And so a standard enthalpy change is an enthalpy change, but it occurs at standard conditions with all elements, um, with all reactants and products in their standard states. And so you add this extra little naught at the top um, up here, which means that it's, it's standard uh, conditions. And so standard STP, standard temperature and pressure, is 273 Kelvin and one bar. But you don't need to know that. You just need to know what the concept is. And you would have done this at A-level. So they're expecting you still to be familiar with most of the concepts they're talking about. And you'll probably remember some of these definitions. Um, you have to remember that the entropy of formation is 
enthalpy change, so the heat change um, given a constant pressure, when one mole of a compound is formed um, from its constituent elements, yada, 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 that's always the same. But you need to remember that it's one mole. So if you're balancing things, you've got to have a coefficient of one. And the same here, enthalpy of combustion is when one mole of a substance reacts completely with excess ox oxygen. And then all of this yada yada always in every uh, in in every definition they have this under standard conditions with all reactants and products in the standard states. Um, just be careful because this is actually wrong. It's two hundred and seventy three Kelvin. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I can, I didn't know I could do that. If we now apply it to the problem, we're going to have to use Hess's law, which is that the enthalpy change accompanying a chemical reaction is independent of the route by which the chemical change occurs. So what we're saying is, if we go from A to B, this, this energy change, this delta H, is the same, so this delta H1 is the same as delta H2 plus delta H3. And you need to realize that it's, it doesn't matter what route it takes. It doesn't matter if it went just by route one or by route two. It's the same energy changes same well it's the same enthalpy changes so energy change at a constant pressure perfect so now we have everything we need to do the question so the question was saying um, calculate the standard enthalpy of formation of a so we're gonna have to construct some cycles um, and then we're gonna have to do the same thing with B so I've got a nice empty slide I'll quickly write this at the top. Uh, C thing H six. So, um, we have this reaction and we've got to remember that since we're talking about standard and enthalpies of combustion it's which we, we need this number here to be um one which it is uh so that's perfect let me just there you go so that's one so what what we get given in the question is actually the um the enthalpy of combustion of A, so we know this amount, enthalpy of combustion standard, we know that, um, and we can also, if we look at the standard elements, the standard states, uh, we can look at that, plus 9 over 2, O2, plus so that's a gas plus H two. Perfect. So for the formation of so that we can label this as the formation enthalpy of F standard of A. We can label um, this as this as the enthalpy of combustion standard of C and we can label this as enthalpy standard combustion of H2 Oops. so it's 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 not looking very very nice in numbers but if you if you plug it all together you get that the standard enthalpy change of combustion 
of a equals um, it e so this this change at the top equals negative standard enthalpy change of formation. Oops, the F's meant to go there. Uh, standard enthalpy change of formation of a plus so well, uh, three times the standard enthalpy change of combustion oh, so many letters of carbon plus three times the standard enthalpy change of combustion of hydrogen and so this is where it neatens up a bit I'm just going to get rid of all of this uh, we have that we have for a if you plug the numbers in you get a result that the um, the standard enthalpy of formation of H sorry of, of A is 152.1 uh, let me just erase some more so standard enthalpy change of formation sorry of A is 152.1 kilojoules per mole and you can write a plus if you want to make it positive so then you do the same thing but you just put in the value of so instead of using the standard enthalpy change of combustion of a you use the same of b and so you get that the standard enthalpy formation well, you can be sneaky with it because if you look at the values they give you in the question, um, you get given that the the enthalpy change of so enthalpy change standard enthalpy change of combustion for A is minus two zero five eight kilojoules per mole, whereas for B it's minus two zero nine one. So if you look at the difference, it's actually a difference of 33 um, kilojoules per mole exactly. And so you can just add 33 if you, if you understand what you're doing. So you get 185.1 kilojoules per mole. So you don't you don't actually have to calculate it all again. So that is that was, that is that question. Now, if we go back, this is it all written out a bit more neatly. If you plug in the values, you get the same thing. Obviously, it's tricky on a on a little iPad, but this is what you need. Now, more, there's more. Standard enthalpy change of the reaction B to A. So what we need to realize is that if we're going B to A, it's the same as going from B, so oh, I've done it wrong, from B to A is the same as if we have our elements in standard states standard states we know the form we just calculated the formation of b and we know the formation of a and so if we want to go this way uh, if we want to go this way it's the same as going this way and then this way so we have to make the enthalpy of formation of B negative 
and the formation of A positive. So all you do is you have your results that you calculated and you get that 185.1. You make that negative and you add the 152.1 and it gives you minus 33. So that you have minus 33 kilojoules per mole and that is an extra mark. And so that is that is it. So you could give it a little symbol delta R H standard. So this the circle means standard. The H means enthalpy change. The R means reaction. Um, and so that is all of parts A to E. I hope it's been useful. Um, and please look out for the next part of the video where you can see a bit more of the organic drawing. So thank you.